This tutorial continues on from our previous video on setting up SFTP on CentOS version 7. In that video, we set up SFTP and created a user called John. We're going to carry on now with John and we're going to set up private key authentication for him. To do that, let's first create a hidden SSH directory in his home directory. To do this, we're going to use make directory. We're going to do in home John. We're going to make it dot .ssh. Okay, now because root owns home John for the uh, ch rooting, we're going to have to change the ownership of that SSH back to John. So let's do that. Okay, and let's set up a mission. So we do chmod. 7.5.5 Great. Now let's create our key pair. Now to do this we would usually use our ssh-keygen but if we type that in now we're going to run that as root. So to run this as john let's use our run user command. In there we type dash l in lowercase and we can specify that the logon we're going to use is for John. However, when we set up John, we specified that he should run in bin false, which is not going to give him any shell access. So let's just bypass that temporarily and put him in bin sh so that we can run the script. In there, let's choose what we're going to run. And we're going to say ssh-keygen. Yeah, that's fine. We can put it there. That's the default folder we created earlier. And for now, because it's a test environment, we're going to leave it without a passphrase. And there we go. Our key pair has been created. Now, what we need to do is copy the contents of our public key into an authorized keys file. What I like to do, though, is actually just copy it. So we do our cp command. And just to be safe, let's do everything this complete path. Do John dot SSH and we'll do ID underscore RSA dot pub. We're going to put that in and please make sure the spelling of the authorized keys file, that's very important. And we're well done. We can go test this now. If you're running on Windows, you can use WinSCP or FileZilla. It will work. What you'll need to do first, though, is just download the private key. Well, I hope this has helped you. Thanks for watching.